Hello, so you want to connect to SAP Business One through service layer, do you? I will show you what uh, how I connect. If you find it useful, use it. The code is free. Go to store.corexyz.com and you will get it for free. Um, we'll start from Postman and then I'll show you the C-sharp code. So when you install SAP Business One version 10, you also get the service layer. Previously, it was only available for HANA, but now SAP changed their minds and they made it available for SQL as well. So you put your IP to make an HTTP request and the port is 50,001. And then you just say B1S V1 login. The body is something like this. You specify in JSON the username, the password, and the company database. And in the headers, you only have to say to accept JSON. And then when you make the request, uh, the, the service layer responds with your session ID. If it's successful, if I screw up the password and I send it, it will say, no, you're not allowed, login failed. So that's the difference between a successful and a failed login attempt. Usually the best place to start is from Postman. And then if everything works, you can switch to C Sharp. And now that's what I will do. This is the console application that's available for free download from the same place I mentioned. I will not say it again. And I specify the URL. It's the same as Postman. And then I created two uh, classes to model my request and the response, login request, login response. So in the request, I have the same properties, username, password, and company database. I serialize the request with JSON convert. And then I make my request with a web request to that URL. I tell it it's JSON, it's a post, and then I write to to the request itself, and then I get the response back from the service layer. And I read it and put it in text mode to the console, as well as I deserialize it. If you are using OOP, you can then work with the response instance where you have all the properties from that reply available. In case of something going wrong, capture the exception, put it on the console. Now you can take this code and make it your own, do as you please. If I run it, you will get exactly the same response as we saw in Postman. So this response is posted, is posted, is written on the uh, console from this line over here, but then you also have it deserialized with these properties. Right, thank you for your time. That was connect to SAP Business One using service layer nice and short as we like it. Bye.